Well, school safety has been a topic of several government forums and a key campaign platform for many political candidates over the past year. And as Politics Now co-host Patrick Walker explains, a significant boost in funding is expected in the state budget to fund more safety efforts. The state's two-year budget is proposed to increase by over a half billion dollars to $8.8 .8 billion for the next biennium. Now, as part of that increase, $78 million would go toward school safety-specific causes. Some of that money will go toward initiatives that came out of Governor Sandoval's school safety task force that he held earlier this year. Now, Sandoval's chief of staff, Mike Wilden, told 8 News Now yesterday that some of the initiatives include $8 million that would fund more school police officers, $16 million which would fund more social workers on school campuses and $25 million for grants that schools can use to harden their campuses. We're talking about things like locks and window coverings and fences. So that $78 million comes from marijuana tax revenues. Right now, the governor's 10% special retail tax on marijuana puts money in the state's rainy day savings account. Right now, it's sitting at about $229 million. Now, if Governor Sisolak and the new legislature uh, adopt this proposal, that money would then be rerouted into educational funding. That includes funding for these school safety initiatives. Of course, Sisolak and lawmakers can change how this will work, but given that Sisolak will have to present this budget proposal just two weeks after taking off, it's, it's likely that at least this will be the starting point for budget negotiations throughout the upcoming spring until the final budget for the next two years is passed and signed at the beginning of next June. I'm Patrick Walker, 8 News Now.